Greetings from Jim A G six I F. I want to show you my APRS tracker in a bag. I picked up a uh, Radio Shack HTX two o two. Nice little radio. Uh, neat thing about it is you disconnect the battery, and you've got a twelve volt input on the top. It makes it nice for a tracker. Uh, put th put all this in a little bag here. Uh, let's see. So I bought the cable from Argent Data. I got an OT two tracker and Open Tracker two cable to the HT and um, the HT uh, is feeding a mag mount on the roof of the car here. I also picked up just for fun a Radio Shack HTA 20 uh, 30 watt linear amp that you can turn on or off as necessary. Uh, but the beauty of the system has to be in the when you buy a data cable for a Garmin Nuvi 350 little GPS here in my, or in my car here. <coughs> The uh, GPS serves to provide a the GPS uh, lat longs to the tracker because it doesn't have a GPS built in, but it also back feeds the data into the into the Garmin. Uh, let's see here. Go back to the map. So you see the other stations that are local to me uh, over here and all around. You can actually track to one of those stations. With, uh, with a real easy uh, method, uh, find location, it drops them in your favorites, uh, right in here, favorites, and there they are, sorted by miles. It's kind of neat. Um, you can also message the stations. Uh, when you uh, plug this in, the, uh, the Garmin has a, uh, enough knowledge to bring up a different menu. Uh, you can go into messages, and you have an inbox and an outbox. So it's very nice, very simple. Create a message. Uh, you start a message with a dash, <clears throat> call sign. Let's do, do one quick here. Um, we'll put mine in, AG6, uh, IF, IF, dash 1. It's my I gate. <clears throat> so you got call sign in there. And then your text of your message. <clears throat> and we can just do a, a test, I guess. One thing I wish the Garmin did was uh, used a regular keyboard, but uh, they use an ABC style keyboard. I guess they didn't think their customers knew how to type. So anyway, uh, here we go. We've got the call sign, a dash call sign, and the message. Hit done. Send the message. Uh, in the outbox, you'll see it sending. When an acknowledgment comes back, the sending will uh, actually go away. There it goes. So, messages in there. Um, the neat thing is uh, that the Garmin ends up being a real good interface to the system. Uh, like I said, you can also track to one of the other stations by finding your favorites. Pick, pick what you want. Select it. Hit go. And it'll calculate your uh, your uh, driving directions to that station. Anyway, uh, not much invested. All used parts. You can get one of these for twenty bucks or so on eBay. <clears throat> the OT2M is still available. Uh, nice little tracker from Argent Data. And of course, the HTX 212s are uh, 202s are um, available easily, and they're nice little uh, radios for building a little project. So I just picked up a little bag here, button it all up, <coughs> mag mount on top. Uh, I've got a little uh, short balance or short coax cable to a to a uh, barrel, and this can go anywhere I go. It can go in a rental car. It can go in another different vehicle. Um, and you can actually just put a rubber duck on that antenna if you want on the radio. So, uh, good APRS system on the cheap. So, hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And a lot of people have asked me about this locally here because I've been talking about it on the local repeaters. So, this is Jim, a G6IF, saying uh, happy holidays, everybody. Have a safe New Year's. It's uh, December 28th. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. 7 3.